Hello, Upper Face. Welcome back. I hope you've all had a lovely half term. Today is Monday, the 22nd of February, and I hope you're ready to learn. So let's get on with this assembly. So today, what zone are you in? Are you in blue, green, yellow, or red zone? Um, I'm a little bit in the blue zone today. I'm feeling a bit tired. I've got to get back into the routine. I'm moving quite slowly. So I need to have a look at what I can do to try and get me into this green zone. I want you to have a look today as well on your remote learning and in school you will be given or you have one of these self-regulation posters and this is something that we've put in for you to use to see how you can help yourself what you can do there's lots of ideas on here so you could be doing uh, deep breaths counting to 10 putting on your headphones listening to some music just give you that little bit of a break away from things and then when you're ready, when you're feeling back in this green zone, get back onto your work. So have a little look at that and see what zone you're in today. Now, our would you rather question for this week is, would you rather have no Wi-Fi for a week or would you rather have no music? Um, for me personally, I think I'd have to go without the music because I think I wouldn't cope without the Wi-Fi. If I lost my Wi-Fi, I lose my communication to all my family and friends. So for me, I'd go no music but what would you rather no music or no wi-fi so our workers of the week so well done to everybody these are our workers from the last week of term so well done to jack dylan taraji mariam aisha and melanie keep up the good work we're really really proud of you shout outs now i've got super shout outs for some of my super work that has been sent through to me by the emails from all the staff or your teachers have been going through your work and this is our set of this week's brilliant work so well done to jack and tyler super prototype for your bird feeders really pleased with that keelan i can see some excellent work from you from you for your home learning jessica and miss saunders was really pleased with your um, re work carolina some super work for class 13 and nazia in class 14 well done so moving on, our character competition winners. This is the competition Miss Lee set for you to design your own character. I'm just going to let you have a little look at those for a minute. So um, we've got some super ones here. So year four, well done, Logan and Zach. You've got your two new characters there. Courtney's done a lovely picture here and Ryan's new character I can see there. Well done to you. Max has gone to the next level and has actually dressed up in his new virus assassin character. So well done. And Maisie, I can see a really, really detailed drawing there and some description of your character. So well done, everybody. Your prize will be getting to you soon. So keep your eye open for those. House points, our winners of the week are, let's see, it's Saturn, no change there. But I know Miss Potts and Miss Lee have had a look with me today and the others are catching you up. So keep checking Sims for the house points that are being awarded for those working from home and those in school. Well done. Keep making sure your teachers are putting your house points on for you. Our core value this uh, spring term is diversity. Now diversity is when we respect each other for being different. We do lots of work at Eastfield about how it's okay to be different. It's okay because we're all unique. But what if here you can say, what if we were all the same? Just imagine if everybody looked the same and we all acted in the same way and we all had the same opinions, the same feelings. Would you like to live in a world like that? Would it be an interesting place to be? Have a think about that question for a minute. Now, when we think about diversity, it's about respecting each other because of our differences. But sometimes people don't show respect to each other. And when a person doesn't respect somebody's different quality or opinion or just because of what they believe in, this is called discrimination. Now, discrimination is the unfair treatment or bullying of one particular person or group of people. And often this unfair treatment is because of the person's differences could be how they look, how they speak, what they wear. It could be a, a multitude of things, but it's all about respecting each other. And remember, if you are not respectful, you are being discriminative against that person. Now, I've asked Miss Stewart to have a little look and to figure out just something that I wanted, I was interested in, is how many different places around the world all our children in Eastfield are from? Because we're a diverse community, we're not all from Britain. So I wondered if you knew 
have a little think, have a guess to yourself. How many different countries do you think we've got people from here at Eastfield? We have 19 different countries from around the world. So it'll be interesting at some point to have a think about the people in your class. See if you know where everybody's from. Are they all from England or do they come from different places around the world? Is that what makes somebody unique or different? Now, how do we deal with discrimination? So some people in school might deliberately leave people out of a game or group because they're different. They might say something mean about somebody's skin colour, religion, dis uh, the disability or just a personal difference. Some people might tell another person their personal beliefs or opinions are the wrong ones to have because they're different. Or some people might discuss somebody's personal beliefs and be unkind to them. Now, how would we deal with somebody who was showing discrimination against somebody at school? Well, what would you do? I want you to think about if you, if you were being bullied or discriminated against, what would you do? Who would you tell? If you heard somebody else at school was being horrible and being unkind or bullying somebody, who would you tell? What would be the right thing to do? Would you tell anybody at all or would you just ignore it and walk away? What's the right thing to do? So I want you to reflect on a little bit about diversity and about how it's okay. It's great to be unique. It's great to be you. And if someone looks, acts, behaves or sounds different to you, we need to embrace their differences because diversity is a positive thing to have in our society. We are all different and that's OK. Remember, we all have the right to our own opinions, beliefs, and that is what makes our school and our world a special place. OK, so back to the grind, back to the week at school, back to home learning. I've just put the screen back on for some tips for you if you're working at home. Remember, follow your timetable, making sure you're completing the lessons set for you today before you complete your online activities. Very important that you go and you watch your teaching videos. Make sure you watch each part before you complete the tasks So watch the maths part of the video before you do your maths work and so on. It will help you um, no end get these tasks and activities correct. And remember to take a short brain break if you need to. But remember, you've got to come back and complete this work. It would be terrible if you have to redo all this work again when you get back into school. I've put some ideas on here for you to help to give you those brain break ideas you could go away and do 15 star jumps and then come back to your work there's some ideas here so try your best and get your work completed and that upper phase is it for today don't forget to submit your entry for the ict competition that mr hartley set you before half term and i will announce the winners for that next week so happy learning everybody bye for now Good.